Hey guys, my name is Raygun and welcome to this Destiny 2 video. We have just recently seen the release dates for the Raid and Trials of Osiris for Destiny 2. So basically all the endgame content uh, for the console version that is anyway. So as we know, the console version of Destiny 2 comes out on Wednesday, the 6th of September. The Nightfall Strikes and whatnot will be available to players as soon as you are ready to do them. As soon as you hit level requirements and light level and all that nonsense, you'll be ready to do Nightfall straight away with people and also they have a certain percentage of players will be able to use the guided games to go into them. And then as for the raid, the raids are usually not shown to us before we discover them, so before they're, they're revealed and released. So we have to always figure it out and there's a, usually a huge community race to see who can finish the raid first and solve the puzzles inside. Which is released on September the 13th, so that's exactly one week after Destiny 2 on console is released. Now this is good news for PC players, as you'll be able to look at how the raid works and how to solve it, even before we actually get the PC version. So that's going to be quite nice, just to, just to have a feel about how the game looks, so before you actually decide to buy it on PC, you can actually just go and say, right, that's it, we're going to get it. And then with uh, Trials, that comes out on the 15th of September, which is two days after the raid. Trials is like a 3v3 um, PvP, so you have two teams of three. You try to really get to, uh, like an 8 win streak, that's what it was like in Destiny 1. And then if you had the 8 win streak without three losses, uh, you'd go to a place called the Lighthouse where it'd be like a, a treasure chest that you could just get loot from and some, some very nice looking Egyptian styled stuff. So that's it for this video guys. Those are the dates, like I say, September the 13th for the raid, September the 15th for Trials, and night falls as soon as you are ready. One more thing quickly guys. Um, before in Destiny 1 you'd have to equip like your best gear when encrypting engrams. Now it will scan through every single thing you have in the game. All your equipment that might be on other player, on your other characters, sorry. In your vault. Things you forgot to equip. It'll scan through it all for your best loadout. So you no longer have to equip the best stuff to get a really good engram. And then it also tells you what the minimum power level of the engram is going to be if you highlight over them in the new system. Which is really nice to see that they've done those changes. But anyway guys, that's it for this video. Go ahead and click like below if you like this video. And subscribe to keep up to date with my content. And I'll see you again in the future. Peace.